Yeah, I grew up in, in, uh, in Orange County, California. I was born and raised in, in Orange County, and uh, it's a great place to grow up. It's the whole Southern California area is just, you know, you've got, you've got the ocean, and, and an hour and a half away, you've got, you know, in the, in the wintertime at least, you've got snow. So you're exposed to everything in between. You're exposed to surf, you're exposed to, to moto. All the moto tracks are close by. You can go snowboarding. Um, and, and those are all the things I've, I've done. Um, surfing actually came later in my life. Um, I didn't surf until I was in my mid-20s. Um, and it just became something that I, I fell in love with. It's just, um, it's really calming and, uh, and just nice to be in the ocean. Although I, I'm horrible, as you'll probably see, I suck. But I love doing it and it's, uh, it's fun every time, no matter what. Dave Castillo here, uh, stuntman, asterisk affiliate, uh, motorcycle rider, shitty surfer. Can I say shitty? There, there you go, shitty surfer. I don't surf very often. I actually um, would like to surf more, but I'm so busy with work and I have a family and, and stuff like that that uh, I don't get to surf as much as I want to. But uh, when surfer comes, Surf across comes around, we, we definitely, uh, you get the moto guys, you, you, you can catch a few moto guys out here trying to catch some waves. Came down so swift And it drove them to the coast I started riding when I was five, so that was a long time ago, and uh, and it was a, a passion of my dad's, and so he, he got me into it, and um, started racing, I think, around 10 years old, and, you know, raced for fun, started doing decent, and uh, and ended up doing some of the amateur nationals and doing all right, and uh, turned pro in 1990, raced uh, Supercross and nationals um, over the years through injury, through I think 2004, um, off and on, never with much success. Um, you know, little little glimmers of hope here and there. But I had a great time doing it, and uh, and it ended up sort of paying off as far as uh, the stunt work, as as uh, the the reason I got into stunts was through through motorcycling and. Uh, that's really paid off for me because I've, I've been able to build a career in stunts over the last 15 years doing uh, obviously motorcycle work, but it's even grown beyond that. So, so motorcycles have, have really been my life and my lifestyle and um, have created uh, opportunities for me and a, and a new career. Yeah, motorcycling to me is, is um, it's a lot of things. It's, a, it's always a challenge, especially these days when you don't get to do it as much. Um, to go back out and you, you sort of have that, that ability still, but you don't have the, the physical, um, necessarily you don't have the physical fitness to, to be able to do it for as long as you used to. But it's, a, it's definitely an escape with, with, uh, with all the pressures of life and things these days, you know, to, to get on your motorcycle and just put in some laps or even just go out in the hills and, and hit some jumps. It's, it's, a, it's a mental escape, it's a, it's a challenge all the, all the time. Uh, 
and it's it's just I don't think there's anything more fun. You get on your motorcycle and you know you can do all the stuff. Surfing's great, and you know mountain bikes and all this stuff. But when you get on your motorcycle, there's really nothing that that compares to that. Stop taking me.